Walker here after speaking to one of Moss's accusers. Catherine? Dr. Moss is charged with second degree sexual assault. That stems from an allegation dating back to March of last year when a woman says the endocrinologist touched her breast without her consent. Today, I spoke to another former patient who says Moss also touched her inappropriately. It makes it easier to speak up when others are speaking up. So I'm glad that, that somebody did that for the rest of us. According to a probable cause affidavit, a woman reached out to Cave Springs Police in February saying Dr. Adam Moss sexually assaulted her last March. The accuser told investigators Moss touched her breast without her consent during a medical exam at his Cave Springs practice. Prosecutors say at least 10 other women have reported similar experiences with Moss and that a review of medical records showed no documentation of breast exams in several different cases. When I seen that he had been arrested and how many other women had come forward, um, I basically just instantly got sick to my stomach. You know, I sent the information to my daughter and she's like, you know, Remember, Mom, when I told you this and I told you that. That is the mother of one of Moss's former patients. That former patient is now in the process of filing a police report after seeing Moss was arrested. The woman says she began seeing Dr. Moss for thyroid issues in 2012 when she was 10 years old and remembers her first uncomfortable visit with him when she was 15. We are not identifying the former patient or showing her face. He would say he needed to check my pulse and instead of just resting the stethoscope on my chest or on my back or whatever to listen, he would stick it up through my shirt and his hand would always go over my breast or rest on it as he was checking it. The woman says she didn't come forward earlier because she felt like her allegations would have been brushed off. Other occasions he would scoot to where he was so close that his knee would be between my legs and and touching my private area after a couple times of that happening I, I I told my mom that he was making me uncomfortable after that she says she didn't see Moss again in person and had a few televisits with him before switching doctors I'm glad that he's gonna have consequences for what he did because doctors are supposed to care for us and not make us uncomfortable Moss was released from the Benton County Jail today on a $50,000 bond. He will appear in court next on July 18th. We reached out to Moss's attorney today but have not heard back. Katherine Gilker, 5 News. All right, thank you, Catherine. Now, this is a case 5 News will continue to follow as it moves forward. You can keep up to date with any new developments as they happen by downloading our free 5 News smartphone app. Well, let's send you outside now.